Okay, so we are going back here. Okay, we see that this is being called by now. We see that this is calling this. So what it does is that if it checks that it is in a VM or all these things are present, it will sleep. It will get take count and it will sleep. Getting take count is actually one method to check whether it's being debugged because sometimes uh, programmers tend to change the system time but when they change the system time the take count doesn't actually increase so while the time hits uh, the take count doesn't match it will you will can see that it's being debugged and it will exit itself <coughs> okay so let's see where this whole function is being called again Yes, you can see. Yeah, if it will terminate itself. Okay. Oh yes, this byte. It compares this byte. Okay, you can see that this byte is also being referenced here. So, if I had to guess, this would probably be a flag, or maybe a debug flag to see whether it's being debugged and the behavior will change if it is or isn't being debugged so we can just uh, x see what where it's being referenced okay we can see double click the line and see what happens if it takes the jump okay So this gets the host name, maybe sleeps for a little bit, see what it does. Okay, nothing nothing important. Okay, this is quite interesting. We see that this this flag is uh quit uninstalling and close socket and WSA cleanup. What this does, what WSA, what closed socket, closed socket does is basically it closes the internet socket and WSA clean up. If I'm not wrong, it removes the registry keys. So let's enter this function. Hmm. Okay copy okay there's nothing interesting here hmm let's go back to our debug flag and see where else is being compared okay <coughs> so Join. Hmm. Okay. Create process A debug flag. If it is being debug. If it is being debug, it will enter sleep again for how long for 100 milliseconds? Okay, there's a lot of sleep involved in this program. It's quite interesting. Okay, and we found another one. Terminate process. Close handle. Yes, if we see the debug. Fl every time the debug flag is a uh, is not zero, you can see that it all jumps straight into this terminate process shows that it's terminating itself okay now what I want to do is maybe we can uh, check where is this flag being moved where is it being changed move debug flag 1 I can just double click this oh uninstall okay offset wall recovery wall status disconnect 
I think this has something to do with uh, what the program does you can do a reverse engineering you can see that it's trying to take information from a website looks like it status disconnect new nick might be connecting to a new server and creating an account or something okay let's go back to our debug flag quit updating okay This is where it sets the original debug flag. Okay. Now let's try to find the uninstall. Let's go back to strings or maybe the functions. Can we see anything in the functions that we didn't need? Get host by name, no. Hmm. Terminate process, we can find more of that later. Very should delete value A. Okay, we can see what is this? Where is this being called? Oh it's something to do with very three keys. Okay. Basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to climb up the ladder and see what the malware does on top. Okay. So you can see right here, it's trying to input a registry key, maybe it's trying to persist. Let's go back. Although you can see down here, that delete some registry key and it closes. So. Hmm. 